2008 was a hot year for tech toys, from newfangled phones to mini laptops. So we're here with some of the greatest gadgets of 2008, and top of the list, the iPhone. Yes, now full disclosure, we both own an iPhone. We, we do. We have brought along our sacks of goodies to talk about Let's here. Let's dig in our tech bags. Now, right. we covered the iPhone 3G launch together. That's true. Yes, we back did. Back in July. Yes. So 3G is just the next generation of cellular coverage, and it is supposed to be a whole lot faster. It hasn't really been a whole lot faster. Yeah, there have been some complaints with it, right? It's taken some time to really get, catch up to Europe. So it is a bit faster, marginally faster, and, you know, everyone likes the App Store. What's your favorite app? Right, yeah. Yes, now that's actually probably the big selling point for everyone. I've, my favorite app is probably Shazam. You see it right here. Basically, if you're out somewhere and you hear your, uh, a song and you're like, I, I know that song, I'm not sure what it is, you use Shazam, and if, in about 10 seconds, it will probably tell you what it is and throw it into your iTunes. It's right. pretty neat. Mine are a bit more utilitarian. I like this thing called free Wi-Fi or easy Wi-Fi that just finds any wireless network. All right, well, let's move into the, uh, the bag here let's and see bags. what else we've got. Oh, you know what I've got in here? The G1. So this is the phone that's basically got Google's operating system, Android. So you can see it's got the touchscreen features you would think of with an iPhone, but it does have this full keypad, which I know a lot of people missed with the iPhone. They really wanted that. Right. So, you know, it, it's still, I think, finding its way. There'll be other Google phones in the future. This yes. one's from HTC. So we'll just wait and see what's uh, on the horizon. Right. Well, I will see your G1 and, and raise, raise you a BlackBerry Storm. Uh -huh. Because the Storm is... The touchscreen option of BlackBerry yep. just came out in November. And this one, one of my biggest complaints is battery life is low, and this one is out of battery. As I brought it this by morning. Our display here. So, you know what is has become really popular this year are these little portable cameras. So mm -hmm. video cameras we're talking about here. And this one happens to be the flip camera. There are now there is a flip HD camera. Right. Um, they've really come out with a lot of different models. And they're so easy to use. They capture really short video clips, you upload them to YouTube or something mm -hmm. like that. The quality, not that great, but right. Very simple. Well, I am going to now show you what I think is big this year. This is the Sony Ericsson Bluetooth watch. And what it does is pairs with your cell phone. And then when your phone rings in your gadget bag or in your wallet or in your pocket, it's going to vibrate. And then under here is an OLED screen, or not OLED, rather, LED screen, that's going to show you who's calling. So you don't have to dig in your bag to decide whether or not you answer the and phone. And it's not quite Dick Tracy. You can't answer your No, but phone, we're going right? to see phones like this in 2009 from Prada and Armani. Our fans are waiting. Yes. Um, We're going on tour. Yes. World tour, as a matter of fact. Guitar Hero World Tour. Um, this is the first time you can play the drums and have a mic, and have a guitar, along with your song. Right, and we're so we're going to play Xbox it on 360. the Xbox. Yes. One of the great things about this is you can play virtually with other people. So, so here we go. Xbox Live, you can actually bring in some of your friends. Okay, you're going to have to All stop right. talking to me, because it's sorry, time right, to rock out. It is tough to like play and... Ready? All right. Ah, Tell I missed Ringo. it already. All right, well, as entertaining as it is to watch us play Guitar Hero, we should point out that we're going to be heading to Las Vegas in just a few days to preview some of the really cool tech breakthroughs of 2009. We're going to start looking ahead. So we'll see you there from next week on The Early Show.